Well, thanks for visiting Personal Piano Professor at www.pianolessonsforlife.com. My name is Greg, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the slash chords. Now I'm assuming in this lesson that you'll know a little bit about chords and versions. And if you don't, there's plenty of information on the website. But uh, I'm just going to talk about a three-part chord in C that will have three inversions. Root position with the root note C in the bottom. First inversion with the note E in the bottom. And second inversion with the note G in the bottom. And then back to root position there. So when you see a chord that says C, generally, if we're talking about the inversion you'd be playing, a C in its first inversion. If you see C with a little slash and then E after it, it would probably mean that we'd be playing the chord C but in its first inversion with the E in the bottom. A C with E in the bottom. And if you saw C slash G, it would be a C chord with G in the bottom. So, slash chords are used to tell us what inversion we might want to play. And slash chords also indicate the bass note of the chord, which is important because the bass is very important in popular music. And for a little uh, demonstration of that, you see on the page, uh, on the lesson on the website, the chords for Piano Man by Billy Joel. And that's a particular case where you would see the slash chords. C starts with C, and then we have G slash B, and then we have A minor, and then we have C slash G, and you see that the bass note is the bass is walking down the scale. Then we have an F chord. And we have C slash E, and then finally a D7, and it goes to a G chord, G7 chord. And you notice I played actually a D minor 7 with a G in the bass, and that brings up another topic about how slash chords are used. Slash chords can also be used for chord extensions. If we take a G7 chord, okay, G, B, D, and F, we find out that the extensions of the chord are F, the 7th, A, the 9th, C, which would be the 11th, and actually E, which would be the 13th. Now, 7ths, 9ths, and 11ths, and 13ths add color and tension to a chord. So, if I play an F major 7 and I put a G in the bass, I've got G with a 7, 9, 11, and 13. And that sounds really cool. A little bit different than just a G7 chord. Gives it some pull, wants to pull to that chord. So, we use that, we can use that in the piano mans. kind of explains the slash chords, just a quick review. The inversion of the chord, C, C slash E, C slash G, that's one way you'll see them. Also to indicate a bass line, G slash B, A, G slash, C slash G, F, E, and then we have a D and a G. And so I hope you enjoyed the lesson on slash chords. So, you know, there's a they're used a lot in jazz, too, so um, a little later we'll be having some lessons on how you use those in jazz chords. But um, click the like button while you're on my website and uh, sign up for uh, my lesson alerts. I send out uh, video alerts like this when I put up new material. And um, 
again, I want to thank you and uh, encourage you in your interest in learning to play and hope you'll let me know how I can help you in the future, okay?